hi guys this is Ari from TechShare today I am going to um, show you guys how can we install Sitecore uh, 9x in your computer so yeah I mean you should uh, already know that uh, Sitecore 9 onwards uh, Sitecore introduced SIF Sitecore installation framework and uh, for that you need to understand the PowerShell and uh, you need to run a couple of uh, PowerShell scripts that's already been provided by Sitecore so yeah I mean my personal experience was quite uh, hasty I would say because I know it was kind of you know I did not complete the Sitecore installation any of the installation in on go I actually did face a lot of problem in in different ways and I had to you know brainstorm I have to solve some of the thing that I faced during the journey to install Sitecore and finally I uh, could install successfully though but i was actually missing some graphical tools and finally i found in sitecore 9.2 initial release they introduced this sitecore installation assistant so this is kind of a graphical tools from where you can easily install sitecore so these kind of tools um sitecore actually introduced before uh, and we named uh, uh, that uh, tool as sim sitecore installation manager so I, I I really like that tool, Sitecore Installation Manager, because it was really easy to install multiple instance. You can update, you can you know uninstall an instance quite easily, and also you can also install the modules and everything quite easily. So that made our life quite easy. So I was really badly missing at that kind of tools. The Sitecore Installation Assistant is not something like that tools but definitely you're gonna get a lot of interesting thing from this okay so today I'll try to uh, short this video so this is the URL um, 9.2 initial release if you go here and by the way for that you need to have a um, sitecore credential like dev.sitecore credential and for that you must uh, have to pass the sitecore certification so once you pass your certificate sitecore certification any of the course that sitecore provides then you're going to get the credential therefore you can log into the dev.sitecore and you can download any of the system or any of the software of sitecore so first of all uh, let me show you this uh, linkedin i will also uh, give this uh, link to the description about this um, this uh, linkedin article that i wrote before so there i explicitly mention all these steps that uh, you're gonna need in in order to install sitecore 9 x so there if you uh, go to this uh, sitecore experience platform 9.2 initial release space there you're gonna get this uh, graphical setup package for xp single so if you double click or single click it will uh, install automatically a zip file once you unzip then you're gonna get uh, this okay so you can see everything is uh, ready and the interesting part or is interesting application you're going to get is the setup.exe file so in the setup.exe if you double click this setup.exe but before that you need to do some uh, kind of prerequisite thing like you need to install the solar and uh, after installing the solar what you need to do is you need to open this sitecore exe config file and if you open the config file then you can see some configuration that is also important so before running setup.exe you have to make sure that you install uh, every mm, thing that requires by sitecore so here you can see uh, there are different things but first and foremost and most importantly SQL server uh, you have to provide your server name you have to provide the uh, sitecore admin sorry sql admin password your solar url and i will create another video where i'm gonna show you guys how can you run your solar uh, in https that is quite easy but it needs a bit clarification that's why i thought okay let's um, create a separate video for that but today i'll go i'll give you a description sorry at a link in the description below where you will get to know how can you uh, install site solar as well as you can run in solar in HTTPS okay and then everything by default should be fine and you have to be 
careful while uh, you set up the solar route, solar service, everything. And you probably know how you can run solar as a service. So that is also very easy. I'll cover everything in that topics where I'm gonna set up the solar, okay? And if everything is okay here, you don't need to do anything more here. So what you can do now? Okay, so there is the other important thing, the prefix, okay? So site core prefix, uh, site core, what it's gonna do is, uh, okay, so we can give that value uh, while we install the site core. So no need to give any prefix here. So now if I double uh, right click and run this uh, setup.dxz admin, then you're gonna get this message. Okay, so it should open the setup.exe. Uh, Come on. Hmm. Okay, so it opens two times. Let me close one. Okay, so see here, uh, it says before you begin, you must have a valid site code license. That, that is very important. So you have to collect your site code license first. I'm not sure from where you're gonna get it, but you have to collect it. And start, and then look, this is something I already did install, so I, I'm not going to install that, but what you need to do, you need to install this installation prerequisites first, because that will in install all the necessary things that normally when you use um, CIF site code installation framework, that will also you know, install through PowerShell script. So that will also use PowerShell script internally to install everything. But uh, uh, for you, uh, don't, uh, you know, uh, I mean, please don't escape this step. So install your prerequisite. And then um, I'm going to skip now because I already have installed. And then this prefix you need to provide here. So prefix maybe I can use sc 92 uh, b sorry 9 v2 sc 9 v2 admin normally we use uh, b password so you can use any and then site code license file i have a license file so i'm gonna use that one i believe my license file should be located somewhere in my download license ls yes that's the one next okay so now my sql server instance uh my sql server password i can't remember so maybe i am going to get it from okay next so now it says solar file system root everything should be fine because i set those in the configuration file and uh, this is our uh, solar should also be fine next okay now it's gonna install and it i uh, know it's going to take around 10 or 15 minutes so i'll come back when the installation will uh, finish for this step You can see here now the installation gets successful so once everything is successful then you're gonna get this message so yeah so that is that is quite easy so once you get it then let me close this one and then and um, quite easy I mean you don't need to worry about anything should be fine but before that what I wanna I know conclude with this is um, there are some troubleshooting things you might need to do it so in this uh, article where i actually uh, you know mentioned all the details that you might need to do in order to troubleshoot um, while you are uh, having to install sitecore because you know i also was struggling uh, initially i was also facing similar similar kind of you know issues where i could not install successfully because i was getting some error 
then finally i found that okay my license was not a you know, valid one it was not supported for nine then i needed to update my license and then i also found that the insufficient permission in iis this did that was also for my case so this is kind of you know i learned myself um and fix that and sometimes uh, i found people saying that solar version so if you use some old solar version or something that might not work so you must uh, sorry you might need to use uh, solar 7.5 or maybe later version and solar ssl this is very very important so if you run solar in normal http that might not work not might that will not work at all because this is kind of mandatory um in terms of site code recommendation or site code settings that site code provides to work with uh, solar so it actually configured in this way to use site uh, sorry solar ssl so that's something we might need and uh, that's all i'm going to share this link as well as the link from where you get to know that how can you install solar in https so that's all for today hope you're um, going to enjoy this video and uh, this video will helpful for you guys if it is helpful then give me a thumbs up and uh, also please subscribe my channel so hopefully i'll meet you again in the next video till then bye